everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. As they're preparing for the official wedding ceremony of the Oni of Ife with his seventh wife, it has been said that her name is Aridunu. This is coming just about a week that the Oni got married to his Ijebu princess. Her name is Demitokwe Adeshegun. Of course, she also has an intimidating resume, just like his other wives. However, it has now been reported that we might be counting up to 13 wives, even more than 13 wives. And the only has a deadline to marry all those women. Before now, we had known the monarch to be a man of one woman. He had only one official queen. Even though there were reports that there were other women living with him in the palace, these were what Naomi called side attractions in her long note, where she stated that she was not with the only anymore. This was in December 2021. And within the space of December to September, we are seeing the only getting married at a fast pace. Sometimes just 48 hours after getting married to one woman, then we see that he's getting married yet again to another woman. So within September to October this month, he has gotten married to six women and he will be welcoming the seventh woman into the Palace of Ilife. Nigerians have been talking about Oni of Ife acquiring new wives. After Naomi had publicly said they were not together. Many people question why such women would make that kind of decision. As earlier mentioned, they have quite intimidating resume, almost all of them. And they are also self made women. Well, it seems some people have the answer to this. In fact, they are saying that he has a deadline and he has to marry at least 13 women. It has been reported that a YouTuber on Instagram disclosed a conversation between an Ifa priest and a friend where it was stated that the only was simply following tradition and had a deadline to meet. Is alleged to have 13 wives before their allotted time is up. Well, the only's palace is here to verify or deny this claim. This is the conversation between the said Ifa priest and the YouTuber and the said friend. So according to them, the only had rejected this when he ascended the throne of Lefe. However, she says that she was told by a professor who also doubles as a priest that the Oni has to have at least 13 wives before a certain time so there is more women to come. The Oni has been in a number of publicized relationships. He had his first child, Adiola Nulua Pogunsi, who was born in May 1994. Miss Omolara Olatubosu, they were said to be family friends. <clears throat> they were said to be family friends, and they had the child in a battle. Today, they are both co parents. In 2008, he married Bombata, from whom he separated in 2016. March 2016, he married Zenabo Titioban from Benin Kingdom in Edo State, and then Zenab filed for a divorce. And it was finalized in August 2017. In October 2018, Imam Prophetess Monique Nami Luashi. But in December 2021, Monique posted on Instagram that they were separated. That statement was contradicted hours later by the palace. However, move of reconciliation has said to have failed over the months. And between September to October, he has married six women. He married Miramanako and Ebira of Kogi State origin on 6th of September 2022. Then Elizabeth Apollo Akimuda, an Undo indigent, who was betrothed to him on 7th of September 2022. Thereafter, in Toby Phillips, an Okitibuba Undo state native, as his third wife, on 9th of October 2022. And then on 14th of October 2022, he married Ashley Afola Adiguke, an Ilefe princess, as his fourth wife. And then on 20th of October 2022, he married yet another Ilife princess, Mugadim Lee, as his fifth wife. It was after this that he now got married to his Ijebu princess, making it six women and six queens. And tomorrow, October 29th, he's going to get married to his seventh official queen. Her name is said to be Aridunu, and we'll be bringing you updates. Before the late Alafia Boyer's demise, a lot of Nigerians usually 
talk about his love of women, specifically getting married to young, beautiful women in their twenties. All this while, they only had only one woman. Many people are now saying that it seems the only has taken over a life in Ovoyo in the area of getting married to multiple women. Coincidentally, shortly after his coronation, the only met with the late Alafi Mboyo, and by so doing, initiated a new era in the history of the Yoruba states. He effectively broke the links of institutionalized discord between the trains that had plagued Ilif and Oyo for decades. He said also to be an advocate for the empowerment and the emancipation of women and young people. It has been said that he has transformed the life into a tourism. Its changes, including the beautification, redesign, and reconstruction of the ancient city, is also a renowned philanthropist. He said to be committed to humanity and an advocate for the less privileged. He has granted support over the years through the House of Odudua Foundation and recently through Hope's Alive initiatives. Just like the resume of those women are intimidating. Well, many Nigerians are claiming that the resume of this woman that is getting married to are quite intimidating. However, the Oni himself is not an illiterate. In fact, for his education, he attended Shubola Memorial Nursery Primary School in Ibadan, Ibadan District Council in Akobo. He then proceeded to Loyola College in Ibadan, then later to St. Peter's Secondary School in Lefe, where he received a secondary school certificate, SSE, and graduated as an accountant from the Polytechnic Ibadan. He is a member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. He is also an Associate Accounting Technician. He is a certified member of the Institute of Directors. He is also a member of the Global Real Estate Institute. He holds a number of honorary doctorate degrees, one in public administration from the University of Nigeria Asuka, and another in law from Ibinia University. He is the Chancellor at the University of Nigeria Asuka. He is the 51st and the current only. He is the traditional ruler slash monarch of the Yuba Kingdom of Ilife. He ascended the throne of his forebears in 2015, succeeding the deceased Oba Kwande Shijuwade, who was the 50th only of Ife. You come to the end of this episode where this Nigerian man claims that the only of Ife has married at least this number of women before the deadline, and it is beyond him. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the content.